This video is all about Black Spirit Adventure dice you need to know. You can get up to 3 dices every day and get 1 dice each every 30 minute of playtime. Keep in mind that it resets every day at 5am server time. And there are 4 types of the map that you guys can get into in Black Spirit Adventure. And this is what number 1 looks like. And this is what number 2 looks like. And then this is what number 3 looks like. And do you guys see this location right here? That I put a square box on. If you guys actually land right there as well, then you guys can get a jackpot map where it will look something like this. Friendly reminder that there is actually rewards every time you guys beat the board. And so I have basically beat 380 times, but you know, like you guys need to always check out the rewards because sometimes it does reset. And then now I basically need to do 40 more and then 50 more in order to get this one and so on. However, for rounds completed, this is only one time for your every account. And so yeah, you guys can basically get up to 100 stack if you guys beat 100 times in the Black Spirit board. And then you guys can get like Black Spirit Adventure Box, right? And then all these other juicy items. And then every time you guys beat it, you do guys get a Kafra Stones bundle of 5 each. And so yeah, I really recommend you guys trying to beat the board as much as you can. And then afterwards, you guys can also get nice juicy rewards as well. As you guys can see, I have 91 dice saved up and I usually like to roll them all at once whenever I get bored in BBO. And so this is my tips for you guys how to roll them the dice really, really fast. So for example, we're gonna acquire the dice today. And then after that, we need to basically play for 30 minutes and then we basically can get another dice later on. However, now we have 92. And so what we wanna do is click the dice button and then roll the first one. And notice how there's like a long animation for the very beginning and now you have to wait until the black spirit moves around, right? And so what I usually like to do is click on the dice and then back out and then come back, escape, and then you guys see like black spirit adventure and now you guys see like a hot key as number six and so on. And so let's say that I actually want to put this instead of number six, I want to put on number one. So how are we going to do that is right click on the black spirit adventure and then remove menu and then it disappears. And so what we want to do after that is you guys want to go to the reward. And then after that, you guys will see Black Spirit Adventure. And so what we're going to do now is basically click on it. And then now it pops up this screen again. And then what we're going to do is click the dice again right here, for example. And then let's press escape again and just get rid of the animation. And then now look at this. The Black Spirit Adventure is now on number one. So what we're going to do is press escape and number one. right? And then it basically comes out right away. And then do it again. Escape number one. Escape number one. Escape number one, escape number one, get the point. And so what we're gonna do now is basically, you know, use this strategize and then, you know, skip the animation whenever we want. Sometimes it comes out as in cooldown if you guys clicking the dice too fast. And so what I would recommend is wait until your black spirit jumps twice. One, two, and then that's when you guys can click it. And then you guys should able to basically go right away. So once again, one, two, and then click on it and then you should be fine. One, two, and then click on it. One, two, and then click on it. So this is what I usually like to do all the time until I actually land these ones in the middle. So it's really up to you guys to use like the dices if you guys want to force to get in there. But personally, I don't do that. I just use all my 72 dices and eventually I just go in there. So for those people who are not too sure what you need to get on this board, I would really recommend getting this one. It's called Blessed Message Scrolls. And you guys can basically get combat EXP of 200% and skill EXP is of 30%. And you guys can get this from events. And that's the only way, honestly, to get it. And that's why I really recommend you guys getting these on the Black Spirit Adventure on this board. And then after that, you do want to get this one. It's called Lara's Warm Black Tea. And it gives you guys really nice buff for life skilling. For example, you guys can get Mount EXP 50%, Life EXP 30%, Gathering Item Drop Rate of 10%. And weight limit of, you know, 100 LT with 3 hours duration. And so this can be stacked with all other item effects as well. And so, yeah, if you guys are into gatherings or, you know, something with horse trainings, then this is where it's at for those stuff scenarios. And then after that, you guys can basically get other ones from like, you know, Central Market. And so I don't really recommend you guys getting anything else besides this one and that one on this board. And so here, what I usually like to do is, you know, use my skip animation. And then basically just keep rolling until I can either get close to here or here. But personally, I don't really need them right now as well. I have all the characters that's level 61 now. And so I basically don't need this and I don't really do life skillings anymore. 
And so yeah, I basically don't need any of these right now. And so what I'm going to do is basically skip it until the very next map. And if you guys do also want to land in the special board, it's really up to you guys to use, you know, the other dices that you guys have or use Arcana and then, you know, use a guarantee from one to plus six of the dices that you guys can guarantee land. And so, yeah, it's really up to you guys using these to get there. However, I don't need it. And so let's go to the next map, which is right here. And so on this map, what we can see again is basically getting this, which is blessed message scrolls and which is for PVE grinding. And so let's say that you are new to BDO. This is highly recommended to get these. And then after that, nothing really pops into my head as well. And so, yeah, what you guys want to do is basically roll again until you guys get very close to the special board or just keep using your dices that you saved up and then just keep skipping it until you guys can get to the next scenario. And then after that, when we do land here, I would recommend also again the warm black tea right here. And then if you guys really, really want to, you guys can also get this, which is called Secret of Book of Florin. But you guys can usually get this a lot from events, and so I don't really recommend getting those. And utensils, they do get very high demand in Central Market. So it's really up to you guys. If you guys want to get into cookings or alchemy, then you guys can get these ones right here as well. But it's really personally up to you once again. But personally, I don't really need them. So what I'm going to do is basically just keep re-rolling until I can actually land on the special board. So right here, what I'm going to do is just keep using my dices until I actually land in the middle. And if I don't, you know, I don't. Because I usually get these dices every day by just playing, you know, BDO. And so I don't really care. And let's say that we have a scenario right here where we are in jackpot. And then I do want to land right here. Which is I'm basically going to need number 5 to get there. Let me just double check. Yep, number 5. And so what I'm going to do is use that and get up to here. And then now what we want to do is another good strategy is Arcana. And then try to use this item called Cosmos Catalyst. And if we do that, we basically teleport random square on the board. And so let's do that. And then hopefully that we landed somewhere in the back. <laughs> okay, we basically came right here. So if you want that again, you can use like number two, right? And then get another 30 crowns if I wanted to. And then after that, I can use the fluke again and then go from there as well. And then let's see where we land again. And then we went all the way back here. And I do really want this one. This one's very nice, guys. And so if you can, we can try to use that. And then I'm going to use this because I do have plus six to get there and get that juicy Kafir Stone Bundle 2. So what Kafir Stone Bundle 2 is that it gives you 10 to 30. And then Kafir Stone Bundle 1 gives you guys 10 to 20. So it's really up to you guys, right? RNG is RNG after all. And so, yeah, I really recommend you guys either getting this one or the Bundle 1. It doesn't really matter at this point. And then try to land those. And then if not, try to land the, you know, Crown Stone right here, which gives you the most Crown Stones of 30. I would recommend you guys getting these, right? Or you guys can get the Bundle ones, right? 10 to 20. And so that's my go-to here, guys, is in the map, you guys can get these ones. If not, if you guys come around here, maybe 20 is not bad, right, for crown stones. But then this one for sure. And then after that, if you guys want to, get this one, this one, or this one. And so the nice juicy part is at the end. And so you guys just want to try to get there, you know, safely. So what Clatter and Rattle is, randomly obtain a dice upon use, basic dice, 1, 2, 3, or special dice, 1, to 2, randomly selected from 6 side of dice. So if you use this, we basically get random dice, guys. Just like this and then boom we just get a random dice and so what you guys want to do is just try to use that as much as you can and just get random dices and then next card we have nice fluke and this effect is used for two times more for rewards from the square you land on and it also says only apply squares that you have landed on by throwing dice squares that you land on the arcana do not grant extra rewards and does not apply to arcana card or finished squares and so if you use it for example this is what it looks like and then now we basically have a card on the side. And now what we want to do is roll it. And then now we basically get times two of it. And so it seems like we landed right here. And then we just get a gold bar times two. Let's just in case see if we can use nice fluke. And then after that, if we can use, you know, some kind of um, pace of delight and then see if it actually works. Maybe just a bug, just in case. Who knows, right? So I, I'm going to land on number five, for example, and go from there. So it seems like it does not work. And so, yeah, keep that in mind, guys. It does not work with Pace of Delight. Make sure you guys actually have to roll it. 
Oh, what about using like these ones then? I do want to maybe just land here and then see what happens. Oh, it does work, guys. And so maybe that's another good strategy that you guys can use on that scenario. And so we just learned this. Use nice fluke. And then after that, I'm going to get the, the middle, which is 10. So boom, just like that, guys. And then easy clap. That's how we get, you know, two bundles right there. Asian two for one deal. I love it. And then we just get another roll and go from there. And let's say that we do want to go back all the way back to start. What we want to do is Arcana and then use this item called Faded Encounter. It basically returns back to start square. And so that's what we want to do here in this scenario. And so let's give it a try and use it. And then voila, we basically, you know, start from the very start point of view. And so yeah, that's is my strategy and go-to guys. And so hopefully this video helped you guys how to, you know, cancel the animation. So that way you guys can skip the dices animation really fast. And then yeah, and then just using the dices in the right times in the right scenario. That's it with this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. And if you guys learned something, give that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.